Hey there, I'm Jen Herman with Jen's Trends. And if you're wondering how to use alt text on Instagram, or if you should use alt text on Instagram, this is the video for you. So first of all, let's talk about how to add the alt text because it's really quick and easy. And then I'll explain why you do want to be using this and why it's actually so important. So first of all, to add the alt text, when you're uploading a post onto Instagram, a feed post, you have the option under advanced options to add the alt text. Go ahead, click that, type in what you want the alt text to be. Now, in this case, you're going to want this to be as descriptive as possible, include your name and or your brand name, include what is happening in the context of that post. So if we went and took a photo of exactly what you see on the screen right now, my alt text might be something along the lines of Jen Herman with Jen's Trends in her office recording a YouTube video for information on how to use alt text. And that would be my alt text description. So I've got my name, I've got my username and what is happening, a quick description of what is in there that I'm in my office, that sort of thing. I'm not gonna say something along the lines of woman with glasses at desk. That's not helpful. So we want a good description that is brand related as well as contextually related to the content itself. Now, in addition, you can actually go back and edit any existing post in your Instagram feed and add the alt text. Go find any image you have, click on the three dot button in the upper right corner, edit, and you can actually click the edit alt text or add alt text. I can't, they change it sometimes. There you go. Type in your description, save, boom, done. You have now edited any existing post. Problem solved if you want to add it. Now, why should you be adding the alt text? There are actually a number of good reasons. The first reason quite simply is accessibility. So if there are people who are in your audience that are using things like a screen reader to read, meaning maybe they have visual impairments or they're blind and they're unable to see the screen, a screen reader is going to go through and it will read any alt text to describe what is in that post. So you're actually making your content more accessible to more people by including this. And with ADA laws and things like that that are becoming more and more prevalent, this is becoming a thing you kind of have to do, not just something you want to do. So adding that alt text makes your content more accessible for more people. Now, in addition to that, as we all know, a lot of other sources we'll use alt text for potential search results, meaning things that show up in your alt text can actually be recognized for Google searches. Now, caveat, this doesn't work right now, meaning if you're putting alt text on an Instagram image, it is not going to show up in a Google search. But I'm going to suspect that at some point, this will be a thing. The fact that Instagram is putting more of an emphasis on alt text and they are really trying to make their content more searchable, bringing more people to Instagram. I expect that at some point we will see that searchability. Meaning if you have the alt text in there, it can show up in those Google searches, which is more exposure, more opportunity for you and your brand. So again, having that clear defined name, brand name, context, any of those sorts of things that would be searchable for your industry or your brand, having that in the alt text can be helpful down the road. But, but right now, Instagram has started introducing keyword search, meaning if you go to Instagram and you now search a keyword, you don't have to just search a location or a hashtag, you can actually search by keyword. This is still new. This is still in development, but there is artificial intelligence at play that is literally scraping the data off of your content and looking to see what is in your images or photos. And if your image has a dog, the AI is recognizing that and will potentially populate that content into search results for dog related content. What if you made it so much easier and put in the alt text that told them what was in the photo? I cannot prove yet where the keyword search data is pulling from, 
but I do know it's multiple sources. It's not just hashtags. It's not just your profile information. So alt text can potentially give you more opportunity for search results in that keyword search if your alt text is best describing your content as it relates to that information. So again, putting that alt text explaining Jen Herman, Jen's trends, office, talking about alt text, talking about Instagram, any of those sorts of things now become searchable and could potentially bring my content into more of those keyword searches where it would not necessarily otherwise appear. I know this is all, I'm using a lot of like potentially and not necessarily. And it's because we still don't know. And I fully believe Instagram is still tweaking this like daily. So I don't have any hard fact data, but we are seeing more content show up in these keyword searches where that word didn't actually show up in the text of the caption, not actually in the image itself. But if it's in the alt text or if there's a context around it that works, it is still showing up in those, uh, those search results. So it can be advantageous for a lot of reasons beyond just the accessibility to be able to put uh, your alt text in those images. So I hope this encourages you to start using alt text. You may not do it on every post to get started, but get in the habit of doing it where you can as often as you can and add that accessibility and that discoverability to your Instagram content. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe to this channel where I'm always adding more videos and tutorials just like this so that you can be successful on Instagram. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.